The More in Minutes series gives you a quick hit, easy to apply tips for getting a little bit more out of SAP Concur solutions than you already have. So you can bring more control over spending, more value back to the business, more time in your day. In this More in Minutes video, we're going to look how to group and ungroup data items and apply subtotals in Report Studio. Let's dive in. To begin, I created this report that currently lists paid expense reports and approved amounts. To make it more visually appealing or to help with quick analysis, I'll add grouping and subtotals by employee and payment type. Right now it's in page design, but today we'll be viewing the report in page preview. To start, select the column you wish to group. If you would like to select more than one, you can hold down the control key on your keyboard and select multiple data items. I will select employee and payment type in this case. Then on the toolbar, I'll select group. Grouping has now been added to employee name and to payment type. Grouping data items to the list report will remove duplicates by merging the rows. To add subtotals, I'll click on the approved amount column header and select the summarize icon. And from the dropdown, I'll select total. Now the subtotals have been added for each of the grouped items. For instances where it may not be helpful, like when you need to manipulate data within Microsoft Excel, I'll also show you how to remove grouping and subtotals from an existing report. I'll select the group data item by clicking on the column header. Holding down the control key again on my keyboard, I'm gonna select the remaining grouped items, which in this case are the employee name and the payment type. Next, I'll click on the ungroup icon in the toolbar. Now all groupings and the associated subtotals have been removed. Thank you for watching this More in Minutes video on grouping and subtotals.